Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to create a super 8 millimeter film look using assets like film grains, film mats and film burns that are all available in our new creators pack we're giving away this holiday season. If you want to know more about that creators pack, we have links down in the description below. We also have an amazing giveaway waiting for you at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. Now let's jump in. So we've got our Premiere Pro project open. We have different shots from ArtGrid laid out on our timeline. And straight away, you can get that 8mm film look by going to the Creators Pack and starting off with the mats. So you can just take the first mat from here, drag it on top of your footage. And straight away, you can get that Super 8 look with the 4x3 aspect ratio. If you don't know anything about the Super 8 format, Basically, it's a format invented in the 1950s. It started to be very popular in the consumer market at the late 1960s, where families were using this format to film their vacation videos, their family videos. So by nature, a lot of those films look very shaky or unprofessional. That's what unique with the Super 8 millimeter format. And that's what we're going to try to achieve today. It also reflects on the type of footage you want to choose. So we're going to look for some shaky shots. That's pretty good. That's not shaky, but that's a nice dog right there. This looks pretty good. I think we're going to go with this shot. So let's take the matte and put it over this shot and boom, straight away, looks good. But like I said before, we can make it look better. The second thing we can use is grains, which was very common in the Super 8 format. So we have different type of grains here. We can start testing them out. Again, all you need to do is take the specific asset you want to try and put it on top of your footage and your mat. You're going to get a black screen. So select the grain, go to effect control, and change the blend mode of the opacity. You can go with either lighten or uh, linear dodge or um, screen, whatever you like and fits the style you want to achieve. I think we're going to go with lighten. So we have more grains here to test out. Let's see. Let's go and zoom in on the clip. And yeah, that's super grainy and that's what we pretty much want. You can also duplicate the grain layer to get a stronger feel of the grain. You can do that by pressing Alt on the keyboard, just dragging the clip and that will duplicate it. You can change the scales to get bigger grains play around until you get the look you're looking for. You don't have to stick with the original look of the Super 8. You can go crazy with it. That's why we have different options in the creator spec. So why would you want to try to achieve the Super 8 millimeter look? Either you want to create a nostalgic video that could fit the Super 8 millimeter look, but also it's super trendy these days. A lot of big commercials from Nike, from Adidas, big brands are going with that specific look. Also, a lot of these brands that are making these commercials use different split screens that are inspired from the film look. So we've added these kind of split screens. They're right here in the creator's pack. Super simple to use, just drag and drop and crop your footage according to the split. That is also very trendy. And you got a lot of different assets in the creator's pack to stylize that look and take it to the next level like we're going to do right now. We can add another asset from the pack, which is film burns. We have different film burns and we can preview them. So that looks pretty cool. Let's look at some different film burns right here. That looks also pretty cool. I like that one. I think that's the closest for what we want to get. And these assets are actual film that we've burnt to get that look. So that's the closest you can get to a real film burn look. This is also pretty cool. We can just test it out. Let's throw it right over here. Just go crazy with the blend modes. See what type of results it gives you. Let's see. Yeah, that's too much. So we're going to choose screen that looks the best. And like with any asset here, you can change the position of the asset. You can change the scale of it 
to fit your needs. You can also put the different assets like the film burn or the grain under the mat so it won't affect the mat. So just like this, now it affects only the footage. And you can also play with the opacity itself, not only with the blending mode. So you can do it either by double clicking, opening the channel and just start playing with the amount and the opacity. Let's move it to fit the specific frame that we have. But we have this line. We can get rid of it pretty easily by just creating a mask and masking the film burn to fit our frame. And we're gonna feather this. If you don't want the film burn going over your shot the whole way, you can just cut it, bring it back in and out, move it around and get different, you know, parts of the burn. We took care of this specific shot, but now we want to transition to this shot and we want the film burn to help us do it. So basically we can apply the same assets to the next shot. So let's scale the footage a little bit. Let's take this to the center. We're gonna take this part where it goes in. That's gonna be our transition and then goes back out. Okay, so we want this specific part to be right on the cut point between the two shots. We're gonna change the blending mode to screen and that pretty much is it. Let's see it. Another simple but effective trick you can do is changing the frame rates for your footage. Super 8 is known for its choppy look. The original format was filmed in 18 frames a second. So the way you can get the same frame rate is by applying an effect called Posterize Time. All you need to do is go to the effect window, write in post uh, and we got the Posterize Time. Just drag and drop it to your footage. So in the effect control, we have it on default for 24 frames per second. We can change that to 18 frames per second. And now you get that choppy look that is very familiar with the super eight millimeter look. You can also go with the extreme look and go with, I don't know, 12 frames per second. Yeah, that's very choppy less of the style we want to achieve. Let's go back to 20. That's more like it. The next thing you can do is basically just play with the color. So what we're going to do here is just open the um, workspace for color grading. Naturally, a super eight millimeter look is not that contrasty. It has low highlights, pretty crunched shadows and a little bit of green tint to the shadows. So that's what we're gonna try to do here. So we're gonna lower down the contrast and the highlights, as well as getting the shadows a bit darker and the whites we're gonna lower down blacks we can go with this and also we're going to reduce the saturation a little bit not that much that looks pretty good and let's go with that green tint in the shadows uh, we're going to go into curves go into the green channel and grab the shadows just tweak it a little bit I would also add a little bit of yellow in the highlights. Um, let's take the highlights in the color wheels, take it to the yellowish. And of course, if you wanna get more of an accurate grade for your eight millimeter look, um, just go watch original footage filmed with an eight millimeter camera use that as your reference. 
Naturally, the 8mm film look was softer than what a digital camera can capture today, which is a much sharper image. So all we need to do is basically add some blur. So let's go back to the effects and we're going to add um, Gaussian blur and give it a little bit of blur. Let's see, like 2%, two, two maybe 3 So let's zoom in to our clip to see the blur effect. We're going to turn on and off. The image looks softer now and that fits to the style and look that we're trying to achieve. But we have more assets in the creator's pack. You can try it out on your footage like flares. Um, so we have a lot of different flares here. That might be too much for what we're looking for, but this could work pretty nicely. Let's put it somewhere without any film burns to see the effect. That's just a taste and a sample of what you can achieve. You can also go into the Artless sound effects library and download some 8mm sounds. We have links down in the description below. So we hope this video helped you out. If it did, slap it slap that like button. Also, we've seen the metrics and you guys watch our videos without subscribing to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel with that notification bell on to never miss another video like this and a lot more coming soon. So subscribe. If you want to get your hands on this creator's pack and all the assets we've used in this video to create that super 8 millimeter film look, we have links down in the description below explaining everything about it. Now, let's talk about that giveaway. One lucky winner will win a Junior Art Grid subscription together with the creator's pack we've shown you in this video. All you need to do is comment down below what do you want us to talk about next? Here is the lucky winner from our last giveaway. Damn. Congratulations to you, my friend. Until the next time. Yeah! Stay creative.